changes to the spotter scope, a few weapon balance adjustments, a 1v1 arena, and the next survivor pass. All this and more as we dive into the update 17.2 patch report. First up, the spotter scope has gone through some big changes based on your feedback. Players will now have to scan an area for a full 3 seconds in order to reveal passive markers. Passive markers will also disappear when an enemy ducks behind hard cover, such as trees or buildings. Once an active marker is placed on an enemy, they'll be notified and marked red for 3 seconds or until they are out of line of sight in soft or hard cover. After 3 seconds or achieving soft cover, they'll revert back to the passive marker. The spotter scope range has also been reduced down to 600 meters from 1000. We're trying to strike a balance here between useful functionality and too powerful. So let us know what you think of the new changes. Next up, we're taking a balance pass at the Mortar and 556 DMRs. We've heard from you that the Mortar is a bit too situational. The ammo is hard to find and it's not worth the primary slot it takes up. To address this, Mortars can now be stored in your inventory when not in use. Your primary weapon will still drop to the floor when unpacking the Mortar from your inventory, so be aware of your surroundings before you drag it out. The Mortar will now also spawn on all maps other than Haven, is deployable to more areas, and has more ammo around for you to pick up. For the 556 DMR line, we've upped the damage of the Mini-14 slightly, and increased the stability of the MK-12. Are these changes enough for you to start bringing one along? Let us know! For those who want to train with a buddy or need to settle some Battlegrounds beef, the 1v1 arena is now available in training mode. This update, Vikendi is replacing Haven in the map rotation. However, the ranked rotation will remain Erangel, Miramar, and Tega. We're also finishing up details on our map service plan and hope to get that out to you in the next couple of weeks. In the world of enormous fowl, we've taken the giant chicken and traded it for a giant duck. Bee duck, to be precise. Our collaboration with bee duck brings new items to the store and a giant floating duck in Sanox Lake. Finally, there's a new Survivor Pass with tons of great new skins to unlock and collect. Survivor Pass Galaxy Squad brings you hot new looks from across the sea of stars, so start unlocking today. There's always more to check out than we have time for here, so be sure to dive into the patch notes for full details. Update 17.2 is here, so pack up your mortar, drop in your favorite mixtape, and load up your favorite dance battle emote, because we're taking this fight to the stars. We'll see you on the battlegrounds.